Welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. This is episode 73. I'm your host, Steph, also known as the Knitting Samurai, and this is Macklebeard, our big old boy, our big old boy, yeah, yeah, the cat we got when we decided that, well, let's try this being an adult and get a cat thing, so that's Mac, he's, he's definitely a big guy. Um, I don't know if I said it, I'm your host, Steph, also known as Knitting Samurai. You can find the blog at plus one the number, dot blogspot.com. You can find a group on Rav, <laughs> the podcast is Knitting Samurai Plus One, and I'm on Instagram as Knitting Samurai. If you would like to see lots of pictures of my son, and a few pictures of my knitting, <laughs> and that's a think all I have. I want to say thank you for any iTunes reviews and star ratings you leave. I appreciate it. I know all your other podcasters appreciate it as well. So welcome. So good to see you. Yay. I know it's a little late, but happy Thanksgiving. I'm still in the holiday feeling. Um, it is, what day is it? It's Sunday, December 1st. My birthday was yesterday. So thank you for all the birthday wishes I received out there. It was great. Um, it's December 1st. Yeah. What else do I have to tell you? I don't, I don't know. Not too much. The guys have gone on a grocery store run, so I'm going to do this real quick. Zip, zip, zip. And share what's going on in my knitting world and give you a 2013 update on my goals. Because it's almost done. The year is almost over. I just realized this. I know. It's December. So, what's going on? Okay. I have glasses on. I don't like to podcast at you with glasses on because, you know, you lose my eyes. So there. That's better, right? Okay, so first on the needles, it doesn't really fit in the bag anymore. This is my Leading Men Fiber Arts um, Dramaturg Industrial Colorway, and I'm loving this yarn. It's 100% Superwash Merino, I believe. I am, I just started, oh my God, this cat is relentless. Yes, 100% Superwash DK weight. I am knitting it on US size sixes, and you may ask yourself, those are 4.0 millimeters. What is this? What is it that you are knitting exactly? Miss Samurai? <laughs> I am knitting a Vodka Gimlet by Baby Cocktails. You haven't seen it in a, a little, little bit. It's kind of been in hibernation. This color is gorgeous. Um, yeah, I brought it with me for Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving travels this weekend, and there were days when this was all I brought with me, so that, you know, it's straight stockinette so far. I broke off for the sleeves so, uh, probably a month ago, and now it's straight stock stockinette for several inches before I do the cool waist details. I've shown you the picture before, but I'll show you again because I love to show the picture. So that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, so a few more inches before I get to that point. So it's just, it's mindless, it's easy. I brought it with me to see Catching Fire, the second Hunger Games movie. Two thumbs up, very good. That was my favorite book out of the um, trilogy and the movie did not disappoint. I really, really enjoyed it. So I really like the part where the island spawned. That was cool, yeah. So anyways, go see it if you haven't seen it. You, you won't be disappointed. My mom saw the movie, has not read the book, so she saw the first one, saw the second one, really enjoyed it as well. So you don't have to have read the books. I would recommend seeing the first one. I went with um, some of the cousins and an aunt to see it this weekend, and um, Cousin Kelly hadn't seen or read, like knew nothing, and was very lost. I was trying to keep her up to date, but it was rough So for her. Anyway, so back to this. Um, vodka Gimlet, what else do I have to tell you about it? Not too much. I think it's going to be okay. I think I'm going to work out. So I had this much left in my first two skeins. I am alternating. So at that point, or just a little bit before this, I added in a new skein. Not that one. A new skein just to move it along, move the color progression along. I don't think you're going to notice either way because they're all so very, very close. But they are variegated, so just rather be safe than sorry. So there you go. It's my vodka gimlet. It's coming along. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is my bird legs bag that I absolutely love that I'm way too big for. So I need to shift. I probably need to trade this bag with that bag, the content. So in here, <laughs> I have my fingerless mitts, the peekaboo mitts by Abby Gregor. Gregorio, Gregorio, sorry about that, that I have been working on. 
um, teacher gifts and in this bag right now here I'll just give you a peek there are five skeins of yarn mini skeins but still and my notions pouch and it's not full so there's this bag can hold quite a bit and this was all shoved in there so again one evening after Ro went to bed and I was back at the cottage earlier than everybody else because Ro's bedtime is earlier waiting for everyone to come over for some poker because that family loves to play poker that's my yeah, that's uh, you want me to get the pennies roll and play with the pennies <laughs> all right and uh, the main pennies you, those are easily them. sorted out can you watch this over for a minute yep. Yeah. I will go back. Oh, it really is duck. The duck's gonna eat duck's the money. Duck's gonna penny? eat the money. The duck might have a tummy. <laughs> Can you count the ah. money again, Ro? Duck's gonna have a hard time getting in the air. <laughs> Can you count the the money again for me? Four, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> At least. I, I want to say this is probably my. 10th or 11th Thanksgiving with them yeah I've been I've been with them for a while they are my Thanksgiving but um, one evening I just sat down and I was like okay I'm gonna watch some stalking our zombies because I love my Amy and oh shit Megan <laughs> Amy and Megan and I'm gonna watch them because I'm always behind and I'm gonna weave in ends so I wove in my ends on these I wove in my ends on these be proud of me this weaving in is not fun so at least I can gift these two and then my third crazy set, I obviously did not weave in those ends yet. But I wove in my ends on this one. So this is my most recent piece in the series of fingerless mats. <laughs> this one is um, Dragonfly Studios, I want to say. I've not knit with this yarn before. It's some of my Rhinebeck yarn. The tag is right here. Uh, Dragonfly Dragonfly Fibers, there we go, links on my project page and in the show notes, and this is her Traveler Base in the Ruby Ruby colorway. It's a gorgeous red, gorgeous red. The yarns are really soft. I was a little worried because it's more of a DK than a worsted weight, but I think it looks pretty darn good. So, three and a half pairs done. I'd like to finish that red one and then reevaluate. I don't know if that's a boss gift or not, if she'd like it, so we'll see. The snowball bunnies that have been hibernating probably since August um, need to come back because my mother needs her glue gun back for wrapping presents. I know. Does your mother wrap presents with a hot glue gun? Mine does. <laughs> Not Roland's, but everyone else has to deal with the hot glue gun. She's, she's a little crazy, my mom. Um, what else do I have to show you? Oh, oh, so, okay. I'm totally going to show you something. The Vivid. The Vivid. Let's see, here is my paper. Vivid by Tin Can Knits, right? It's a gorgeous blanket. You knit 85 million squares or 16. Four by five, 20 squares. And um, I know, I can see you. I know that you were thinking that this was never going to get finished, that it was going to be one of those ever languishing projects, but it's not. This week, again, force knitting. Just take the knitting out of the house and, you know, make me knit for, well, I had 12 hours of car time, but six of those I was driving. So six hours of car time and a little bit to think about. So, um, or I wanted a challenge, more challenging project than straight stockinette on the sweater or uh, the socks that I'm working on. So this was great. I love these. And you do a square and you're done. And by the time you get to the edge of the lace portion, your, um, I should probably hold up this one. Oh, Mac, thank you so much, sweetie. Yes. Tell them how you like them. Mm-hmm. That's his nose. <laughs> By the time you get to the edge of the lace portion, your, um, this, this edge border is completely mindless, and I'm doing it, um, because it is garter in the round. I'm knitting one round and purling the next, so that's all I really have to pay attention to in that portion. So I completed two more squares. I have another one on the needles. I'm working on the blanket. So basically here are the four colors. There's one more, an olive green color that I'm doing for my blanket. I would like to get the uh, spiced pumpkin color away. This is Barocco Vintage, which is their, you know, wool acrylic blend. It's close to 50-50. I could tell you if I looked at the tag, but I, you've heard a lot about Barocco Vintage over the years. 50 acrylic, 40 wool, 8 nylon, 52 acrylic. Anyway, so um, I now have 7 completed squares, so 13 to go, and I'm just having fun. So I'm thinking if I have 6 colors, 
right? Green, teal, navy, gold, red. And then if I get the pumpkin, that's six times three. I need one more color, so maybe a purple will work in there. Um, and just do three squares out of each skein to get to the 20 squares. So it's back on the needles, baby. And it's so cute. Ro looks at this bag. And it's so cute. He looks at this bag and says, Abby Kadabby, Abby Kadabby. I'm not sure what about this reminds him of Abby, but something does. So, and he, she is definitely his favorite Sesame Street character after Elmo. So, bad podcaster doesn't have her blockers. Well, you'll have to suffice with my hands. So these were my octopus socks. They were in my octopus bag, imagine. That's maybe how they got their name. Um, it, this is an <clears throat> opal yarn that... I knit these socks for my aunt. Um, what can I tell you? I always knit her socks in the aqua green teal color family. For some reason, that's how I think of her. I think she wears a lot of blue eye makeup, or did in her younger days. Mac doesn't wear any eye makeup, and he wanted to show you that. <laughs> so I finished both of the socks. They're just a two by two rib knit on um, US Zeros 2.0 millimeter needles. Really like that needle size. That's my go to size. I do them top up with a heel flap. Not much to report on these. I mean, they were my travel knitting and I just flew right along. So I'm going to use them. You tell me if you think I'm wrong. Self striping? I think so. I think they look more self striping from a distance than up close. But, um, I definitely didn't do anything and that's how they look so yeah they're self striping so these are my um 12th pair of self striping socks for the year yeah so excited i lost track and i thought they were not and so i actually did a quick review this morning and i was like what this is my 13th pair so if you remember for my goals for the year for my 2013 knitting samurai plus one goals to knit the 13 oldest yarns I have in my stash I knit one so now it's a fail so far I wanted to knit a vest for my dad two baby blankets and Christmas stockings and um, yeah I knit four baby blankets instead so that's kind of like a substitution but sort of fail so the 13 pairs of self striping socks here we go here we go here's number 13 and it's December 1st I can totally do this that will be the only one I will complete for this year 13 patterns from the books I got last Christmas. I have knit four and I knit them in like the first two months of the year. Like I didn't, I didn't carry on with that. So that kind of tells me, which it was sort of a test. Like in the moment I am completely enamored with a pattern or a book or a project, a theme if you will. And I want to knit all the things and I get all amped up. And I think I had, if you, if I were to go back and look like 50 patterns out of those three or four sources that I wanted to knit and I knit four is what the actual outcome is. So maybe buying books isn't a great, a great idea for me because I tend to jump with whatever I want to do in the moment and just buy the pattern I need for that moment. See the vodka gimlet, you know, the, I think the people mitts are, are a free pattern, but, um, the vivid, you know, it's, Something more shiny t tends to come along. So I'm going to be less into asking for books for Christmas, I think. This is more my go forward lesson from that. And then knitting 13 sweaters. Okay, so prior to this year, I think the most sweaters I had knit in a year, I think I knit three. Oh, hello. I think I knit three in 2012. And before that, it was one a year. Um, one second. He's asking if I want corn on the cob or not. I don't want frozen corn in the cob to send to school with Roland. I want regular corn. Regular corn. Anyways. <laughs> um, so prior, I had knit three, I think was the most. And this year, if I count it up, I've done the Har Harvest Moon, the Dark and Stormy, the Asilomar, the Abernathy, which was for Roland, the Jackaroo, the Vodka Gimlet will be my sixth one. Six sweaters, five of which are for me. Like, that's a huge knitting endeavor for me. That's a lot of my time. So I'm really pleased about that. And I'm thinking that 
Well, I'm, I'm starting to think about 2014 goals, and I think I'm going to not shoot for as lofty a goal as 13 sweaters. Maybe shoot for seven sweaters since I'm going to get six done. Let's shoot for seven, and maybe I'll complete that. So, there's your 2013 goals update. <laughs> Now, let's look at these socks. These are um, Loops and Thread is the brand. It's a 60-30-10 wool, uh, merino wool nylon cashmere yarn. It's very soft. I'm not sure how they'll wear. I've knit a pair of these before and I gave them to my mother-in-law So I for Christmas last year, I believe. So maybe I should check on her, with her and see how they how they wore. So there's the back. Two by two rib, my standard toe up. I am starting to do um, 16 stitches at the toe, which gives it more of a rounded look. I'm about six inches along on this. I typically, if they're for me, start my gusset increases at seven and a half inches. So I don't know if I want these or not. <laughs> I might make them like a size 10 or I might do the stockinette zombies gifting a sock thing that they're doing just because I'm it's very soft but I'm not super enamored with these colors but they're short stripes so they fly along pretty pretty quick and so this is good carrying your purse knitting um the colorway is autumn fields in case you two would like to go to I believe these came from Joanne they're, that's their yarn the loops and threads and these are also knit on US zeros 2.0 millimeter needles because that's my sock needle so there you go and this is my owl's pedal loop bag that they are riding around in and one of steve's aunts got me this for just because she knows me well she knows me but every time she sees me i'm knitting socks she thinks that's all i knit well but she's seen me wearing shawls before but that's what i knit when i'm in public typically so that's what she thinks i do so um i think that's all i have for you this episode mac do you have anything to add no, just, just angry eyes. <laughs> I hope to see you in about 10 days or so. I'll have some snow bunny things to show you. I'm going to go pull them out right now. The minute I hit stop, I'm going to pull them out and see what else I need to knit and get that hot glue gun out so that I'm not on the bad list. Um, yeah, <laughs> take care. Enjoy your knitting. Don't get too stressed about your holiday knitting and make sure to take breaks and stretch. It'll be there. You'll get it done. I promise. There's plenty of time. And don't overdo it. All right. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, stop.